The cricketing show that is the Indian Premier League IPL continues to go where nothing else in Indian sport has gone before. Even as it endows the Board of Control for Cricket in India BCCI with more reserves than it has ever had, the success and sustenance of the new IPL media deal will also be measured by how well this bumper sale is used to unlock other revenue streams and feed expense streams. In this video we will look at the evolution of the IPL broadcasting deal, what it means for players and franchises, and why the IPL needs to diversify its revenue sources. The new five-year IPL broadcasting deal will fetch the BCCI 48,390 crore rupees or 9,678 crore rupees per year a threefold increase over the 2018 to 2022 cycle even on a per match basis the increase is about 2.2 times this brings the ipl closer to prominent global sporting leagues in overall media rights for example in the previous cycle the ipl was about one tenth of the english premier league epl in football it's now about one third on a per match basis though the IPL is more valuable than the EPL, partly because the latter has a longer season and more teams and games. Even though the IPL has lifted value for all stakeholders, there is a wide variance in the scale of growth. At the top of the pecking order is the BCCI, which gains from the sale of media rights and umbrella sponsorships, and franchises, who gain by way of greater revenues and expanding valuations. As much as player salaries have drawn attention, they have not kept pace. Neither has how much the BCCI spends on cricketing activities. Players, who define the IPL strongly, have reason to expect more. The IPL caps a team's total salary bill. For IPL 2022, this was at 90 crore rupees. Further, in the last five-year broadcast cycle, this increased at a compounded annual rate of 6.4%. Assuming a similar increase, the 2023 salary cap will be set at 96 crore rupees. Further, a back-of-the-envelope calculation shows the new broadcast deal will nudge a team's revenues from the 300 to 400 rupees crore band to the 700 to 900 rupees crore band. Even at the lower end of this revenue band, a 96 crore rupees salary cap would mean a 13.7% share in revenues for players, the lowest in IPL history. By comparison, top European football clubs in 2018 to 2019, the last pre-pandemic year, paid 50% to 77% of their revenues as salaries to players. At present, players don't have pricing power the BCCI and franchises do. At some point, could the players rally for more? The business model for IPL franchises, on both the revenue and expenditure side, is fairly defined. Franchises earn revenues from three sources. The major revenue head is the share of central pool. Half the revenues the BCCI makes from the sale of broadcast rights and central sponsorships is shared with the 10 teams. The other main revenue heads are commercial, which includes team sponsorships and merchandise sale, and match day earnings, which includes sale of tickets and prize money. At present, in a total revenue band of 300 to 400 rupees crore, about 70% of the revenues of an IPL team is coming from the central pool, basically, media rights. The new TV deal is likely to increase this dependence further. Compare this to top European football clubs, for whom media rights account for 25-50% to 50 of revenues. Going forward, for the teams, the evolution of the IPL has to mean lower dependence on media rights and greater diversification of revenue streams.